I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Now, let's get into a little what's going on in America. Let's get into United States. Now, this is something that I wanted to bring up the last time we were live. This is about two weeks ago, and this is so sad. This video has 613 views. This is channel 11 Atlanta, and this is one of the most important videos I can say that was on, and nobody watched it. Look, what this is why I don't have time to play. We, you have to have grassroots movement. You need to be ready to do shit yourself because you bring people inside to be politicians, to be representatives for you. And this is what they do. Rush to pass bills before Georgia's legislation se um, session closed. Literally hours before it was hundreds of bills that they were supposed to be looking at. There's no way they read those bills, know what those bills are on about. For them to vote on it let's watch this this is why i don't participate in the fraud you can do what you want to do guys but i'm just going to show you how things really are because this is unacceptable this is unacceptable listen to this well this year's legislative session will end tomorrow marking signy die and lawmakers are working hard to approve bills before the deadline mm. more than 60 bills passed this session but we also saw many of them tabled Ariana Manis explains the details of the bills that are most likely to impact you. Georgia lawmakers are working overtime to review and pass legislation before the last day of the 2024 legislative session, Sine Die. In the final days of the session, lawmakers took up several bills that will impact Georgians. House Bill 808, which deals with property taxes, passed in the Senate. It increases statewide tax exemption for tangible personal property over time from 7,500 to 20,000. Lawmakers also took up election bills like House Bill 1207. The bill allows local superintendents to proof ballots in certain races and give candidates a chance to review ballots before they're printed. Mm. Plus, superintendents can determine the number of voting machines for each precinct. The Senate also passed House Bill 1104. The legislation restricts teaching sex education below sixth grade. It would also require approval like from parents first. I like that bill. I like those bills. I like that bill right there. Definitely. Plus, it requires schools to notify parents about the books their kids check out from the library. And the bill prevents transgender youth from using restrooms and playing sports that match their identity. Supporters of the bill say the legislation empowers parents and protects kids. It protects girls' sports. I mean, girls have fought for equality for 50 years. And, you know, if you've got a biological male playing in a girl's sports, it puts them at a disadvantage. We've seen that at the collegiate level, and we're just protecting them at K through 12. I like that bill, too. I like, go ahead, Georgia. Go ahead. You got a two, three, four points from me. Let's listen. One Democrat against the measure says it targets some of the most vulnerable people in society. You've seen an increase in over 28 states that have passed legislation like this of rates of violence against the LGBTQ community uh, because when states pass laws like this, they in some ways give permission to people uh, to treat people as different, discriminate against I'm done. I'm done with you, sir, because you know why? That's a whole lie. Okay, before I'm just going to get a little distracted about them rushing the bills, but all we know, we just had a few bills that they talked about. I'm going to get into that. But you, sir, stop it. Because what I have noticed is that when we have the LGBTQ parades or we have a movement that was like the Black Lives Lives movement and all of a sudden you say LGBT Lives Matter, violence came next. Aggression. 
who you think you are, nakedness, and all types of stuff. So I don't want to hear you talking about violence against them because the violence that I've seen taking care or taking taking place on what they call the cisgender of what God's gender is is ridiculous. I don't rem remember this lady name, but I know it was like a ca Caucasian like um, representative lady, and she was talking up. And she was in I think she was a college student. Or it was a college student. All I know is that those. The, the people who were talking, she was just talking up for, you know, just rights of a woman. They chased her into a room. They locked her in a room. The police was not even helping her. They literally, like, you know, was watching her get punched in the face by men, transgender men. So, sir, I know I had to go in a little bit, but knock it off. I, I seen violence and I see where the violence come because literally people who are like straight, we were just straight trying to ignore gay people. Like, or I mean, like ignore if they're doing something crazy or stuff like that. Um, but usually, you know, we go out, we talk, people gay, whatever. It's nothing. It's not a big issue, but it's the sexualism is the issue, sir. I know a lot of gay people that I have met, work with, and they were perfectly fine, funny. We cracked jokes. We did our job. But when you bring sexualism in it, that's a damn, that's a problem. Okay. Now, back to the real point of this video. Even though they highlight some good things that Georgia has passed, whoopee, thank you, Lord, especially about the sports, especially about, you know, um, the education, the sex education. Um, the taxation, you know, giving more tax exemption up to $20,000. That's great. But there were many other bills that needed to be looked at. And that's something that we need to pay attention to, because even though they said that these bills highlight these particular sectors, those bills be like a hundred pages. You, you telling me that one census summer up that whole hundred pages. No, they sneak other stuff in there. They put other stuff under these bills just like the Patriot gag. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? Okay. So just notice, I don't like that sneaky stuff talking about we got one day to pass these bills. Right. And you keep keying and laughing. I know you ain't get your job done. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.